Embedded World is a perfect opportunity to catch up with all the latest news on the STM32 Cube ecosystem. And who better to guide me through it than Tilen Mayele here. So come on then, Tilen, what are the latest headlines? Hello, Chris. Yeah, the latest one is that uh, together with Microsoft, we introduced uh, Microsoft Visual Studio Code, the, the solid ID that is gaining the popularity also now in the embedded development. Microsoft, that's a great partner to have. Is this an ST initiative? Well, when number one microcontroller provider uh, meets with number one tool provider, right, the co-development must happen. Together, we decided to make a Visual Studio Code extension that is used today by more than 14 million uh, developers. And it's more and more looking forward towards embedded development as well. It's a match made in heaven. OK, in simple terms, talk me through how it works. Sure. So every developer, every STM32 developer today knows STM32 QMX or STM32 QID, our code configurator and code development slash debugger tools. But we want to bring something more. So we want to bring Visual Studio Code support that allows the customers to migrate from the QMX to the Visual Studio Code very seamlessly and easy to use. In order to be able to do that, we also released the STM32 Cube CLT, which is a command line tools that brings essential command line tools necessary for development. So the customers bring, uh, receive the compiler, the debugger, and uh, program. Okay? All this back together for our customers. So let's develop that a little bit further. What are the benefits of VS Code? Sure. So the VS Code has been used by 40 million people. Uh, is also available uh, or has availability of more than 40,000 extensions. Okay? It can be very personalized, so every developer can make it uh, their own way, right? And this is what developers like. On top of that, there is an IntelliSense, uh, the code uh, uh, engine behind. We are also using the CMake, some another popular tool by the developers, and Ninja for the building. All these packed together, and here it is, the result. Okay, come on then, let's talk money. How much? Uh, it's free of charge. Go! Oh. Yes, <laughs> it's available today. Uh, you go to the Visual Studio Code, uh, you go into the extension, you, you type STM32 VS Code extension, and that's it. You download, free of charge. STM32 Cube, always on the move. Lovely yes. to see you again. Who knows what we'll get next year? Correct. Thank you.